Welcome back. Now, the Enforcement Directorate has issued a show cause notice to the BCCI and former IPL boss Lalit Modi for emitting up to 90 crore rupees in foreign exchange to foreign consultant IMG of the UK without RBI permission and in contravention of the Foreign Exchange Management Act. Now, IMG had managed the IPL event and had been raided when the IPL scam broke out. Now, moving ahead, here's a look at the winners of this year's Arjuna Awards. Uh, so, Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award will go to Gagan Narang, who won four gold medals in last year's Commonwealth Games. And getting the Arjuna Award this time, Zaheer Khan gets it, gets the honour, in fact, for cricket, Sunil Chetri for football and Somdev Dev Varman for tennis. Rajpal Singh will be awarded the honour for hockey, Suranjoy Singh for boxing and Twala Gatta for badminton. Meanwhile, 2010 Asia had gold medalist Pija Sridharan, bronze medalist gymnasty Ashish Kumar and archer Rahul Banerjee are among the 19 sportspersons who will receive the Arjuna Awards on the 29th of August. Well, today was of course the big day. Some big movies, uh, big names hit the screen, hit the big, uh, big silver screen. And for more on that, uh, let's go across to our senior editor, that's Bhama Ravi. Thanks, Ashmit. In fact, this week at the cinemas is strictly for the laughs. Don't take anything seriously. Only two movies have released, Kanchana in Tamil and of course Singam in Hindi. So you really don't have to break your head over which one to pick. You can easily take one at a time. Let's begin with Kanchana. You know, this is touted as a ghost film. But early on, you begin to wonder if it's an action film. You know, with Lawrence taking on rowdies in a cricket ground and come evening, Lawrence turns into a bundle of nerves because apparently he's scared of ghosts. So scared that he can't even narrate a ghost story. In fact, he goes running to Mama. So how does the ghost enter the house at all? Ironically, it's Lawrence himself who brings the ghost home, clinging gorily to a cricket stump. And then, of course, uh, the ghost uh, sort of lets itself out and it's dumped in the basement from where, of course, it gets onto a rocking horse, etc., etc. And the family discovers the ghost, especially the mother. Kovai Sarla plays the mother of Lawrence and she's a bit over the top initially, but of course, the gallery will love it. And I think it's the same with Lakshmi Rai's performance as well. She's the heroine. And the discovery of the ghost, the fears, the exorcism rituals, these are all things we have seen in many films. But actually, director Lawrence has dumbed down the film so much that you end up laughing on and off. A few chills, a few irritants and a bit of entertainment. Doesn't sound scary, does it? Hindu cinema's love of Tamil scripts continues. You know, after Gajini and Wanted, they seem to want more and more. It's Surya Singham which has been unleashed on the Hindi movie buffs this week. You know the story, of course, Ajay Devgan is an honest cop posted in Shivgad district, his hometown. So keeping peace is really no problem for him. Until, of course, Jaikan Shikre, a bad man who's also politically ambitious, crosses his path. And then the big fight between the two starts. Not very original, I agree with you. So why does it work at all? Sikkim actually takes you back to the angry young man era of the 80s. You know, a chessboard where the hero is pure white while the villain is such a black guard. And don't we all love a retro trip once in a while? And of course, as a bonus, you also get Ajay Devgan with six packs abs and all, you know. Plus a screenplay that will make you smile a little bit here, a little bit there. And you'll probably come out saying, Paisa Vasu. <laughs> Okay, that was a very quick, short, snappy review. Now, listen, let's listen in to some of the fans, what they have to say after the movie hit the theatres, their take on the first day, first show. Moody part 2, Kanchana. <laughs> I just finished watching the movie Kanchana. See, uh, according to everybody, it might be a thriller or a film with devils and etc. etc. But frankly speaking, you know, yeah, it is scary sometimes, but it, you know, it's got a lot of humor. So I think it is uh, overall, it's an entertaining film. So everybody can watch it. 
it is not that you know only it is for this kind of a crowd or any kind of only for children or elders it's like everybody can watch it because there's a lot of humor also into it so it's an entertaining movie on the overall i think it's a good good shot ஜாய் <laughs> இத வரப்பா நம்ம காஸ்ட்லயா இருக்கணும் 500 ரூபாய் இருந்தாலும் பரவாயில்ல we came out of uh, movie singam super movie yeah? i literally enjoyed it especially ajay devgan and even uh, prakash raj actually it was ultimate movie which i so far have seen actually i would recommend for any everybody to watch it actually <laughs> it was really a nice movie i watched ajay devgan with his six packs really looks amazing he has now made more fans than earlier the film is really good and now i'll uh, definitely not be missing any of his uh, movies because this movie has impressed me a lot uh, i've watched singam and it's a very action movie starring ajay devgan the actions done by him are really fabulous it's really a good movie to watch गांव मेरा है और मैं इस गांव का जय कान चिकरे दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू द एंड ऑफ द बुलेटिन कीप वाचिंग एनडी टीवी हिंदू योर चैनल टू चेन्नई एंड द वर्ल्ड बियॉन्ड